Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this video, I'm going to teach the beginners how to do jump rope. All right, so if you're just starting out and you're in the sport of boxing, mixed martial arts, Muay Thai, skipping rope is a must. It's one of the tools that we use on a regular basis to improve our cardiovascular system. And um, 10 minutes of skipping rope is the equivalent of 30 minutes of jogging in terms of the output effect that you'll have for your cardio system. So it's a great tool because number one, it's not an expensive tool. These skipping ropes are, you can get some for cheap. Um, you don't need a super expensive skipping rope to be proficient. And also it doesn't take a lot of space. All right, so you can do it stationary, of course. And um, you can do that at home, in your living room. You can do it at the gym, you could do it outdoors. It's a really good exercise for your cardio. So Alex has a skipping rope here. Before we begin, I just want to make sure that if you get a skipping rope, you have the right size. Because of course, if you don't have the right length, if it's too short or too long, you're going to have trouble understanding why you're not getting a nice rhythm, a nice flow as your skipping rope. All right, so Alex has his skipping rope here, just put on the ground. Now, the trick to know if it's the right length is you're gonna place both feet, center your rope, and just place both feet onto the rope itself. And now just extend the handles, and as you can see here, it's gonna arrive right where his chest is. And that means that's the right length for him. If it's too high or too low, you're gonna trip on your rope a lot, all right? So, now, before we begin, I don't have one of those right now, but I do wanna mention that I remember when I first started skipping rope, one of the tricks that I did to learn how to skip rope was I actually took an old skipping rope and what I did is I cut the rope in half right in the middle, right here. So I actually took some scissors and I just cut the rope. So now I ended up with a split rope. And this helped me practice just to get that flow, good rhythm. And I would just kind of like shadow skip. So if you don't have the budget or you don't want to cut your existing rope, you don't have to do this. I did and it helped me tremendously. Um, but if not, you can just keep your existing rope and do all the stuff we're going to show you guys today, but just do it one-handed like this. And you're just going to turn your skipping rope as such and pretend you have the other piece in the left hand as well. All right? That being said, now, how do we learn to skip rope? Well, at first I always tell people, if you've never skipped rope before or you're trying in every other skip, you get tangled in your feet with your rope, now learn to skip and get a nice rhythm in a shadow fashion. All right, so Alex, just hold your rope, but don't skip, just do as if you were skipping with two feet together without skipping your rope. Just like move your feet up and down, just like this. Now we wanna get into a good flow, a good habit of staying light on our feet and just bouncing on the balls of our feet like this. No heels on the ground, right? Almost like if it's just the toes bouncing up and down. And you don't wanna jump too high just a nice pop right off the ground so that way there you're going to clear the space for the rope to go underneath your feet. Now I do recommend wearing sneakers, running shoes at the beginning because um, we do it barefooted all the time but it's just that when you learn how to you're going to snap your toes all the time and it's not comfortable so having sneakers is a good method at first and eventually once you're used to it you can do it bare feet. Now Alex, once we have these things out of the way and you know how to have that flow, that rhythm of just bouncing up and down with your feet. Now Alex is gonna show how we like to teach beginners to skip rope. Number one is always the two feet hop, all right? So two feet together and hopping simultaneously like this. Just do a few, Alex, go ahead. Stop, perfect. All right, so this is just the basic skip. This is how I recommend people skip at first. Now, we want to learn more things than just the basic two feet hop, but this is how you're going to learn at first. And how I like to teach it is simply hopping on two feet to start. Once you're comfortable with a set amount of times, let's say five to 10 turns, then you start to go one legged hops. All right. So I'll show you guys how I like to train people and how Alex actually started to learn how to skip rope. So number one is to learn how to do at least five skips without tripping. Go ahead, Alex, five times. One, two, three, four, and five, stop. That's it, pretty easy, right? So once we have this, then we can challenge ourselves to do maybe 10, 15, and 20. Now for the sake of this video, we're gonna keep it short, 
we're going to pretend that we're limiting ourselves to five skips. Once we can do five comfortably, what I want you guys to do is skip five times with two feet together and then five times only on your left foot, all right? And then we're going to switch and do five times only on the right foot. So that's five, two feet together, five on your left, and then five onto your right. Go ahead, Alex. Perfect. See? Five, five, five. Once we're comfortable with that, then we can add a drill to this. All right, so we're going to call this the five, four, three, two, one. All right, so if you're a beginner at rope skipping, this is going to be a challenging exercise. If you're used to it, it could still be challenging if you've never tried it. But why we're going to do this is to learn, because we don't skip rope for show. We skip rope for boxing. Become light on our feet, have good agility, develop some rhythm and timing, all right? And we want to develop the cardiovascular system, of course, at the same time. So once again, we don't skip rope for artistic fashions. We skip rope for a purpose, all right? So now, the purpose of skipping rope is to be able to switch the balance from the left to the right side and continue the same rhythm, because that's how you're going to be bouncing inside the ring, okay? So now, Alex, what I'd like you to do is skip five times in the center, five on the left, five on the right. And then you're going to count down four in the middle, four on your left foot, four on your right, and we're going to go all the way down three, two, and one. Okay, can you do that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's see. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, three. Three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, one. Beautiful. Okay, so this is a nice drill or exercise. You can challenge yourself at home if you're starting out. All right, if you're a seasoned veteran, you've been skipping rope for a few years, been training boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, of course, this is going to be a very easy drill. This video is for the sake of teaching people who are having a hard time skipping rope. Or you've been skipping rope, but the only method you're using is two feet together like this the whole time. And if you only do this for the duration of three minutes, you're going to get tired very quickly. Your calves are going to burn out very fast. So the trick is to become smooth and understanding to be able to switch from the left to the right side, going back to the middle, okay? So this drill is a really good exercise to teach you guys how to flow from two feet to one side to the opposite, back to two feet and rhythm. And now we're doing it as the five, four, three, two, one drill. Okay, now. One more thing you can start to do to add some flair and diversity to your rope skipping is to start to skip with two feet together and maybe set the clock because now by this time you should be getting closer to expert level at skipping rope. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set a timer for either three minutes, five minutes or even ten minutes if you're in good shape. What you're going to do is on every 30 seconds or even every minute you're going to skip the fashion which you're skipping row, all right? So as an example, for the first minute, I'm going to say, Alex, skip two feet together, as such. And we're going to set the timer, and maybe I'll have him do this for a full minute. And then on the next minute, I'll say, skip from left to right, just alternating left and right. So he's skipping side to side, still two feet together. And then I might ask him to go back front back, like this, skipping forward and back. And now he's going to alternate his feet back, front, back, as such, for the next challenge. All right? And we're going to keep on adding some different methods to his rope skipping. Number one, it creates a slight challenge. And number two, it stops the boredom of just skipping rope. Because where are we going when we skip rope? It's not like you're going for a run outdoors. You're skipping rope. You're stationary. You know, so you want some diversity into your rope skipping. And it's going to add a little bit of flair, a little bit of diversity, like I said. It's going to change the monotony of always skipping with two feet together. So these little exercises are great. Number one, like I said, skipping rope, the number one reason we do it is for the cardiovascular system, to enhance your cardio, your wind. All right. So like I said earlier, if you only do three minutes, that's fine. Take a one minute pause and then start a second round of three minutes. Eventually, when you're more season and you're used to it, what you can do is just skip the whole duration of, let's say, three rounds, but including the minutes break in between. So 
you're going to be skipping for a longer period. And eventually even go for five to ten minutes nonstop, all right? Challenge yourselves. What I used to do also is when I remember when I first started out, I didn't have access to a timer. We didn't have digital phones like we do today. So I would just count the reps. So I would just challenge myself personally and just say I have to do 50 of each one. So 50 as such, 50 on the left, 50 on the right, 50 alternating. And then I would do the boxer's bounce, all right? And you can go high knees back from back, side to sides, and we can challenge ourselves as well as, I'm gonna have Alex demonstrate one more thing, is moving forward, backwards, and then a little bit to the left, and a little bit to the right. Okay, can you do that, Alex? Go ahead. So he wants to move towards you guys, backing up. Now towards his left, and towards his right. Very nice. Okay, good. And then one more piece you can do, all right, is also get into your boxer stance. So he's gonna have in his case, he's right-handed. So he's gonna put his left foot in front. And now he's gonna to start to skip rope in this stance. See? And then start to bounce from front to back. As he would, getting his boxing rhythm. Very nice, very nice, okay? So these are little things you can add. And eventually, you're gonna become an expert at skipping rope. You can add things as sprints, going really fast, and go double unders, and go high knees running in place. There's going to be a lot of different things you can do with the rope skipping. Um, Alex can do all sorts of things. So maybe in a future video, we'll show some a little bit more advanced tricks. But for now, this video is going to serve a purpose for people who are just starting out in the rope skipping. Also, if you've been skipping the old school method of just keeping two feet together. So add some flair, add some of these techniques to your rope skipping game today. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.